The man you're about to meet, he's brilliant, but a little eccentric. We had to fake his death a while back in order to remove him from the public eye, and he's been difficult ever since. So why rely on him? Just know that if he gets too unmanageable, we may ask you to take care of him. Say the word and consider it done. That's what I like about you, Alda. Clean, efficient, and eager to please. Not today, Mark. <coughs> what do you know about Agent No's murder? His murder? <laughs> Something funny about that? Just that I knew he didn't have a flash forward. I had no idea he was going to be murdered. Until now. Then how'd you know he didn't see anything? Because your partner posted it on the internet. Because everyone in this office knows. Any particular reason why you felt the need to waste the time with the agents investigating the blackout? In all likelihood, nothing I tell you will be the truth. So why persist in asking? Asking questions is my job. So let's start with a simple one. What do you know about the blackout? That's not a simple question. All right. You ever been to Somalia? I can't say I've had the pleasure. What about Detroit? Utah. You're wasting your energy on what caused the blackout, who's responsible. You're ignoring the most profound question of all. Why? Do you know what a black swan is? It's a metaphor used to describe a high-impact event. Something so rare, it's beyond the normal realm of human expectation. It comes from the 17th century when scientists assumed that all swans were white. They were wrong. Fascinating. Pasare kuchaki bayak sham vared mishavad. There's a room a small boy enters with a candle. What is this, a bedtime story? It's a Sufi parable. The man in the room referring to the candle asks, tell me where this light comes from. And the boy blows out the candle and replies, if you tell me where this light went, I'll tell you where it comes from. Cute. Your partner is right about one thing. I commune with some very dangerous people. I'm friends with those willing to don suicide vests in the name of ideology. I know when a man is willing to sacrifice anything for his cause. And you're not that kind of man, Agent Benford. You're not willing to do what it takes to get the answers. You're that little boy, Agent Benford, alone in the dark. Kelly, Omar, unknown female, go mobile in a black SUV. We're emailing you pictures right now. They made us. They're on the move. Get out. Come on. Get out. Get out! We know you were planning an attack. What did you do, huh? Tell me what happened! Take it easy. We know about the suitcase. Did you set it off? Answer me! I blacked out. I was somewhere else. There was a storm. The horses were scared. What are you talking about? My name is Alda Herzog, and I'm an honest business person. Yeah, we caught you doing business on the day of the blackout, remember? With known terrorists selling them weaponized nuclear material. Then charge me with a crime. You can't hold me here indefinitely. You're right. You should call your embassy and complain. Which embassy is that, by the way? We want to know, because, uh... We want to get you the right phone card. I'm truly flattered that you still feel the need to talk to me after all that's happened. But I've done nothing wrong. It's my associates who you want. Honey, your associates died on the day of the blackout. They were super dead. So you want to give me somebody else? Customer Choice Restaurant Group. You really should get out there before it's too late. Zoe and Dada to see Alda Herzog? I need you to tell me everything that you know. 
Get me a hearing and we'll talk. I've been held here for five months as a material witness, and I haven't been charged with crap. I'm sick of it. I know. I applied for a habeas hearing a month ago. You know this. We are just waiting for a court date. Guess you should try to expedite things. There is no way that we would ever be able to get a hearing today. And even if we could, there's no judge that would be able to release you in time. Who said anything about being released? You want me to tell you what I know about Dimitri? Get me a hearing. Today. You arrange for all these extra marshals? You must think I'm a really big cheese. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. This is standard procedure for all of my lying psychopathic clients. So just stay quiet and follow my lead. Oh, I'll be good. I promise.